randomized control trials have been used mostly in medicine. They've become very, very widely used in economics, but also in other social sciences. Evidence-based policy is one of the magic words of the day. And while everybody thinks evidence is a good idea, what we argue um, is that there's no special status attached to randomized controlled trials, even though a lot of people think they should have a special status, and that evidence from randomized controlled trials is somehow better than other evidence. Usually, for instance, when we do economics, you have to control for other things. So if someone has more money than others and they behave differently, it might be because they have more money, they have more education, they might be a man versus a woman, they might be lots of different things. And a standard economic procedure would be that you have to control for these various things. In randomized controlled trials, it sort of looks like you don't because the rhetoric would say something like, the only difference between these two groups is the treatment because they've been randomly assigned. And that's a pure misunderstanding. Randomization does not equalize the two groups. So what you'd really like is the two groups are balanced on all these other things that matter. And there's no way that randomization guarantees that. More fundamentally, there's the question, even if you've got a good estimate from a trial like that, what use is it actually in policy? And how could you take it from, you know, it worked here to will it work somewhere else? Or will it work when the government requires all schools to put that policy in place? Will it work in Kenya just as well as it worked in Wales? It's what um, Nancy Cartwright likes to call helping factors. If a policy is gonna work, it often needs an environment in which it can work, and it won't work in another environment. And the randomized control trial doesn't tell you anything about that. It just tells you it worked in one place. The key takeaways I would categorize in two parts. The first point is that there's nothing magic about randomized control trials. It's not like this is the washing powder that washes whiter than any other washing powder. It has advantages, it has disadvantages. So do all the methods we've ever used, and we have to be aware of those. The second thing is that if you're going to be serious about using them for policy, which is what people think they're going to do, you have to ask the question as to when you do the experiment, how do you transfer the result to the policy setting? And for that, you have to think about that before you run the experiment. <laughs>